What's up, YouTube? It's Ian Victor, and I'm back at it again with another video, man. Just here spreading knowledge, the love of positivity, and the truth. <laughs> I hope y'all taking care of yourself, taking care of yourself, man. I hope you guys are well. I hope you take care of yourself spiritually, mentally, and physically. Let's get it, man. Let's go. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. I missed you guys. I missed doing YouTube, bro. Like I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I miss doing YouTube. Like I haven't even dropped I haven't even dropped a video since like the week of my birthday. Like that was way back in February, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's like bro, I, I'm literally going a whole beard and everything. I'm going to the barbershop tomorrow, so bear with me. <laughs> like man. It's like, bro, these last few months, I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I've been busy. Like, bro, I just moved, you know, a month ago. And all that. But I've been in and out of the Matrix, bro. I've been in and out of the Matrix. I've been seeing what's going on in the Matrix. Then I just get back to living my life, you know, and all that. You know? Right now, you know, I'm looking I'm looking into uh real estate. You know, that's what that's what I've been doing, you know, these past few months. I've been looking into real estate, been taking courses for them, you know, and all that. You know, just you know, just to start my life. You know, because I dropped out of school back in 2021. That 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 wasn't for me. I dropped out of I dropped out of college. You know, cuz that wasn't for me at all. It was college was just draining me mentally and I was just like you know what this isn't for me even though even though my family was uh was going against it at first but then they came to realize like you know college ain't for everybody you know but I just been taking time you know just living my life you know see where new experiences teach me new life lessons teach me and i ain't, and i'm gonna be honest like bro these last this last month and a half or two bro my energy has been getting messed with like i'm not even gonna lie to you my energy has been getting messed with it even got to a point i started doing some of my old habits i'm not even gonna lie to you like i got back to my old habits before i became awakened for a little bit but like just this past monday i put a stop to it this past monday i ended up putting a stop to it you know because going back to my old habits was not only draining me physically but it was draining me on a mental level and a spiritual level and you know i i have not literally the last time i've meditated was like two weeks ago I'm not even gonna lie to you. The last time I've meditated was like two weeks ago. And it was just like, wow. I literally put in my old habits before myself. And I even admitted it myself. Like I put in my old habits before putting myself first. You know? But recently, you know, I ended up getting back to you know, getting back to my habits, like my good habits and all that. You know, even though sometimes, you know, y'all have fun in the matrix sometimes. Most of the time, bro, I just, I just do things on my own. You know, you know, it, it's, it's, it'll feel good, you know, you know, have a girl on your side, you know, whatnot, but. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta, you gotta take time to yourself, you know? But, this, this is what I found out yesterday, bro. I was at, I was at home, bro. And, it, this was, this was about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. You know, I'm, a, I'm, mind you, I'm been working on my real estate courses. You know, I usually stay up till like 4 in the morning and don't wake up till like 10. 10 in the morning. So, right before I went to bed, because I had to go take my car to get maintenance by 11. 
So, this is about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. I ended up scrolling through my feed on YouTube, you know, because I was about to listen to some music on YouTube. I ended up coming to find out that, you know, y'all know the rapper J.D. Youngin. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, he, he got gunned down, you know, at his mom's house. I'm like, man. It's like, we... It's like we got we gotta start putting our differences to the side, you know, just come together. It's like bro, people literally losing their life at a young age. It's just like bro, y'all literally y'all literally claiming these blocks, but y'all never really own them. Hell, as long as long as you know the government keeps owning these neighborhoods, bro, we'll never own anything. We'll never own nothing. Because it, this, this just made me realize, like, look how many rappers we lost, like, in the past two, three years. Let me just name, let me just name, a, let me just name a few of them. Oh, who, who, who was it? Juice World, Pop Smoke, uh, who else? M.O. 3, uh, Key Vaughn, you know, J.D. Youngin just recently, you know, Trouble, who, who, who else, who else? There was a lot of rappers. A lot of rappers got gunned down at a young age. And it's just like, dang. It's just like, you know, me personally, I mess with J.D. Youngin's music. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You know, I mess with his music. I mess with his new music. I mess with his old music. You know, I mess with J.D. Youngin before, you know, he was popping. And a lot of people did, you know, mess with his music. Like me personally, I mess with his music. Like, let can everybody just learn from his situation? Like, I don't know if people are learning from these rappers' situations because they rather they rather put envy first instead of being positive. They rather be hateful, be envy instead of you know appreciating that person's success. We we live such in a cold world where people rather be be addicted to drama more than themselves. People rather, you know, be dis be distracted by unnecessary BS that's gonna literally mess with their energy instead of taking time to be alone with them within themselves during the day and being being in a good state of mind. I'm just like, man. And bro, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, bro, I've been paying attention to what's going on. And they said, you know, Joe Biden caught you, you know what. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, Wait, this again. Then they coming, then they coming out talking about, you know, monkey, you know what. I'm not gonna say the whole word because YouTube, I don't know, bro. And I wanna get part about that too. It was about two. It was about two weeks ago. I got suspended for a week. I'm not even gonna lie to you. They took they took down my Adolf Hitler video that I made two years ago and suspended me for a week. I literally went and appealed it, and it's just like, bro, I use no hate speech whatsoever. And then these clown clown peoples on YouTube was like, uh, this does violate our guidelines. I'm like, bro, how does that violate guidelines if I'm just speaking my opinion? It's just like, bro, I, I literally told them before, like, bro, YouTube is scared of the truth. Like, bro, all of this is going to come out regardless. All of it is going to come out, bro. It's just only a matter of time before, you know, things really, really hit the fan, bro. Because I ain't even going to lie to you, bro. Inflation is going up even more, bro. Inflation is going up. Because look at this. Food's gone up. Gas has gone up. Rent's gone up. Everything, everything has gone up, bro. Everything has gone up, bro. And literally, like, bro, people are literally out here struggling. You know, I I came across uh Instagram, you know, and this uh, one girl's house just got burned down. You know, like I'm literally trying to I'm trying to find out what her cash app is, you know, so I could go ahead and send her some money because, bro, hard times don't last forever, bro. It really don't last forever. You know, just always stay po always stay positive. 
You know, always always be in a good state of mind. Always keep your hand high. Always keep a smile on your face, no matter what, man. No matter what the situation is, bro. You know? Well, hey, man. You know, I'm, I'm just really just talking. I'm, I'm really going all over the place, bro. Really go, just going all over the place, dude. Because, you know, I ain't made a video about almost 180 days. You know, out of those 180 days, bro, I've just been taking time to myself, bro. You know, finding out who I truly am, bro. Not only that, bro, you know, finding ways, you know, to make money, you know, in this uh, society that we live in right now. Because that whole met that whole metaverse is coming. You know, just to let y'all know that whole metaverse is coming. No, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Because people are gonna be people gonna be living in it, people gonna be spending money in it. It's like bro. They re they really try to get more people up in the AI. Like they, re they really, really trying to get a lot of people up in AI, bro. Because a lot of people's getting addicted to AI. You know, and I ain't even gonna lie to us myself. My, sc my screen, my screen time has been up, you know, these past few months. Instead of, you know, me, because I usually be on an hour on my phone every day. You know, now it's gone up to like four or five hours. And I'm just like, I got, I got to admit this myself and I got to correct that mistake. You know, but literally right now I'm out. I'm outside. Uh, I'm outside of uh, a store right now, making this video. I'm not even at a park. I'm not even like I'm literally just here out of no no man's land. You know, but I ended up, I ended up uh, stopping at this uh, vegan place. You know, ended up getting a contract. You know, with some fries on the side. You know as well or whatnot but you know I'm fo I'm more focused on my life goals more than ever I'm really really focused on my life goals more than ever and I can't wait to bring you guys on my journey you know because like my plan my plan is to get my own place by the end of this year or early next year that's my that's my plan get my own place by early next year or the end of this year you know hey, it's so hot let me let me take my let me take my hoodie off real fast let me take my hoodie off real fast i'll be back Let me tell let me tell y'all this. I'm back again. Let me go ahead and tell y'all this, bro. Like literally back in late April, I started doing calisthenics. Yes, I've started to do calisthenics. You know? Like I've literally I've literally done 200 push-ups for like the past 2-3 months. April 27th was my first day. Started doing calisthenics. Ever since then, I've been hitting 200 push-ups like it's nothing. Like the like the first week, oh my arm my arms was just sore sore like, oh my goodness, like I didn't even go lie to you. Like it was literally to a point my arm like my arms in general were just locked. Like it was just locked. It was like literally to a point like I couldn't even I couldn't even raise my arm up. Like it it was literally that locked. And I was just like, oh. Man, like I, like I gotta have my arms, bro. <laughs> like, come on, man. But hey, you know my routine. You know, doing the two hundred push-ups, I do one set of one hundred and two sets of fifty. Like at first, it was four sets of fifty. Now I do one set of one hundred, two sets of fifty. Like I can literally do one hundred push-ups, no problem. No problem, no matter what. As as long, as long as that consistency is going Like you're so consistent You'll have no problem You'll have no problem Doing 200 push ups 
You know, and I, I do that every night. Like, at first I was doing it in the morning, like, when I first wake up. But, you know, I just do it right before I go to bed. You know, because at that point, I'm, all, I'm already good. Like, when I wake up the next morning, I'm good to go. I'm literally good to go. You know? But, what the hell Okay. I was just checking what time it is, bro. Well, like, we're about to be in 2023, and it is about to be August. I'm just like, man. Y'all didn't think 2021 went by fast. Like, bro, 2022 is going by really, really fast. I'm like, damn, I thought it was like April, May, or June or something. I'm like, man. It's like, bro, time is going by fast on a daily. So, like, bro, there's no, there literally is no time to waste. So like, bro, if you want something in life, bro, go get it. Go get it. You know, as long as you are consistent, as long as you are positive, you know, as long as you're in a good state of mind, you can achieve anything. Stay focused. You know, stay focused. Keep your circle small, no matter what. Surround yourself with mentors. Don't surround yourself with people that's not going impact that's not going to benefit or impact your future always surround yourself with mentors always surround yourself with people that's going to have an impact on your future in a positive way no matter what man no matter what no matter what but hey man you know i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here you know i gotta head to work you know no i gotta head to work it was great talking to you guys you know, I can't, I can't wait to drop this video. I'm probably going to drop this video when I get home. Or probably in the morning. Or something like that. But, hey. I'm in good spirits, man. You know. Just been taking time to myself. You know. Getting back to my good habits. You know. And getting my energy right. You know. And, you know. I'm, I'm working out. Every single day. You know. Plus, finding ways to make new money on a daily basis, you know? But, hey, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Share the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you are new. To the next video, I'm signing out. Peace.